What's up, dudes? It's your boy Eric and Dudettes. Um, I've got an M6 here with the S85 V10 motor. Came in with uh, multiple Vanos codes, low Vanos oil pressure codes. Um, it was at another shop and they diagnosed the high pressure oil pump, which provides about 1200 PSI, so like 80 bar. Um, and it uses that pressure to change the cam phasing, so the cam position relative to the chain. Um, and it does that by using plungers to push on these uh, uh, sprockets here that change, change the cam position internally. So uh, this motor, uh, they put the high pressure pump in, they did the high pressure oil line, and still had the same faults. And so by the time I got it, uh, I hooked up a gauge and verified by blocking off my Vanos lines and hooking a gauge up to the central port here. Um, I block both of these off and run the car, and I can see the oil pressure is at spec. It was 75 bar, which is perfect. It's about 1,000 PSI. That's what you want to see. Now, at that point, I know my pump is good, and the high-pressure line is good up to this point right here. Now we got to pinpoint, is it this Vanos? or this Vanos that's bleeding off pressure. Because when you have a hydraulic circuit, if you have a low pressure, if you have a leak in a hydraulic circuit that is pressurized, the entire circuit has low pressure. So for instance, you have a leak over on this Vanos, and you have this connected, this hose connected to both, and you read pressure, your pump is providing 75 bar, but you're reading 30 bar because of that. So I isolated left and right, by blocking one off at a time and running the car. When I had this one connected and this one blocked off, the reading was still 75 bar. Switch it over to this one. Now this is hooked up and this one's blocked off. Sorry, I'm probably making you guys sick by moving it around like that. But uh, now it drops to 30 bar. And prior, reading this central port with both of these hooked up, my reading was 30 bar. There's a TSB for high pressure fuel uh, oil pump, where it basically says that the high pressure line bursts, um, and you need to replace it. So the previous shop had done that repair, and at that point, pretty much got lost. So um, it's important to have the right tool to diagnose this because otherwise you're replacing probably fifteen thousand dollars worth of stuff. The, the Vano solenoids themselves, these solenoids right here, these are about $1,400 each, just the solenoids. And it's usually not the solenoids that fail. You need to make sure you diagnose this correctly. So now that I have the Vanos actuator out of the car, I wanna show you something. So, um, this is difficult to do with one hand. Uh, you wanna block off your oil port with your finger, and then you wanna move these up and down individually. And this one is good, this one is bad. This is my exhaust side. So, um, let's see if I can get the camera kind of set up here and show you guys what I'm doing. So you want to block off the oil port and you want to move this up and down. And what you're looking for is no sound at all, like no leakage. You could fill this with fluid too and you should be able to move it up and down and have no fluid loss out of the seal that's inside here. This one, you hear that? Air is leaking out of the seal. So if air is leaking out, fluid is leaking out. And when you have a system that's running a thousand PSI, that's a considerable loss of pressure and fluid. They don't run a high volume, they run a high pressure. So uh, we were having faults for uh, low oil pressure and low um, and exhaust Vanos codes, left and right, believe it or not. And I don't know why they're left and right, but um, it was just this exhaust Vanos. The cool thing is, is these are about 140 bucks rebuilt, but the freaking solenoids are 1400. So you really want to be careful when you diagnose these, and uh, it'll save you a lot of headache and time and customer frustration when you call them back and say, "Hey, you know, we uh, we fixed that thing, but uh, you know, now now you got." still got the codes and we're, we're kind of backtracking now at this point so uh, there you go that is how I diagnose uh, Vanos